the, the, these campus, uh, uh, encampments and other things that have happened, this didn't just, you know, those aren't just rent a mobs like you see in the Middle East. Those, yeah, maybe Soros is paying for a lot of them and et cetera. They, they are fueled by, by some payments, but the ideas have been, you know, fertilized for a generation. And those ideas were fertilized by foreign funding from Qatar, from China. Uh, uh, if you look at the Middle East Studies As Association, billions upon billions of dollars into schools like Georgetown and uh, uh, other universities across the country that have been funded by an alliance of the Qatars and Chinas of the world. And what do they get? Do you think they throw billions at Georgetown and, and uh, other universities for nothing? They're getting in response a blind eye to what's happening in those countries. So very little anti, uh, you know, um, anti-Chinese Communist Party, anti-Qatari uh, government, uh, anti uh, um you know, work being done in those free universities, supposedly. And you also then get a willing population of students who are animated and driven by movements that are anti-Western, anti-American um, and anti-free speech and anti-Semitic. So it's really a symptom of, of a deeper underlying problem. And if you look globally, the reason why the, the little America in the Middle East, which is Israel, ends up being the focus of over 50% of the UN resolutions in a world in which 70% of the countries in the UN are not free, are autocratic. And yet the, the few democracies in the West, the few democracies in the world, which are in the West and Israel, end up becoming the focus is because that other 70% votes together in that red green axis. And if you look, if you, you don't need to look further than our own Congress, if you look at the legislation and the verbiage of what Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, and AOC, and uh, or, Representative Day Paul, or, or yeah, Jamal Bauman, Jamal Bauman who thankfully will, will, yeah. is gone now, um, you know, ultimately these guys uh, are not about America. I was told by Ilhan Omar, and I've testified to Congress multiple times. I was told by Ilhan Omar publicly that she recognized after the, um, on the anniversary of, of the death 